Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing a preview of Mother Gunship on the GeForce CDX 1050 Ti for performance monitoring I'll be using Cam if you want to download the software, there's a link down in the description. So, Mother Gunship, I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 900p. To skip down those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. So, thanks to Humble, I was able to get an early code for Mother Gunship. So, it's a preview that I can play the first four missions of the campaign. So, I can have an early look at the game, the performance, the options menu, all that kind of stuff. This is a first-person bullet hell game. I usually play those, but on 2D. So, that's why I was interested in trying out this game. At the moment there is a demo that you can try if you are interested, links down in the description for both Steam and Humble. The game is not out yet, but you can add it to your wishlist or all that kind of stuff. This game was made using Unreal Engine 4, and so far the first thing that I will add to this game is more options in the options menu, especially the post-process quality option that is on other Unreal Engine titles that's missing, so we have some effects like chromatic aberration that we cannot disable, which some people really really hate, so a separate option for chromatic aberration would be nice plus a resolution scale options, so we just touch the internal resolution of the game. And so far the way to get the biggest FPS boost is to lower effects quality. Effects quality is the only option that helped me so far, and the other scene didn't make much of a difference, weirdly enough. And the dynamic resolution option didn't do much, like on other Unreal Engine 4 games. Not sure how that option works. So yeah, that's pretty much the options menu. The other options don't matter that much on the performance side. It's missing a post-process quality option and a chromatic aberration option. We also need here an FOB slider. I found it to be a little bit too narrow for my liking, especially on a game that requires having an idea on what's going on around you with so many projectiles just coming at you. But well, so far with the maximum settings on the GTX 1050 Ti, on 1080p I was able to just max it out. Between 50 and 60 frames per second, the big majority of the time, so I didn't test anything lower than the maximum settings on 1080p. At 1440p I show you two configurations, 1440p low and then 1440p maximum to see what frame rate we get there. And finally on 900p I just maxed it out like on 1080p, but while playing on 900p I ran into a big boss battle just called Tart World 9000 and on that one there are a ton of projectiles on screen, a lot going on, and I noticed that the GPU usage was dropping, that seems to be just CPU related, but I couldn't replicate these plays very easily. The level have some randomness into them but yeah when I run into one of these boss battles the GPU usage just drops so a better CPU should help here. Away from these scenarios, you don't usually need something faster than a G4560. That's why I didn't test an i3-8100. But via email, I contacted the developers and they told me that they were improving performance based on feedback. So if more people play the demo, the preview, all that kind of stuff, we can get more feedback for the developers. So they add, for example, an FOB slider in the options menu, a post-process quality option. So when the full game releases, we get a much better experience with the options menu and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, overall, the big problem is when there are a ton of effects on screen or a ton of projectiles just being fired at you but yeah guys that's pretty much it i hope you keep enjoying the videos thanks for watching and see you next time
Look there. We've been detected by the... Uh,